Hi, my name's Alan. Welcome to the Home Park View. So today we're just about to set off to uh, Plymouth Argyle. It's Plymouth Argyle versus Birmingham City. And uh, both teams are basically same number of points, same record of uh, wins, losses and draws. So it's screaming out a draw today, although I, I honestly don't think it will be. I, uh, I think we're going to go for a 2-1 for a home win because it's at home park. I think we've got a bit of an advantage and I hope we do do it because uh, I think we were hard done by the last time we went away to Bono City and they, they, came, you know, they took the points off us. It was a real scrappy game and uh, they just, yeah, so it would be nice if we were, were able to uh, enact some revenge on them today and come away with the three points. So that would be good, especially after uh, what has been, a, well, a turbulent week really with the uh, Shuey going off to Stoke City uh, in, in the manner in which he did, although uh, it has since come out that uh, I don't think he had much of a choice in the matter. Uh, I think he he was saying in the in Plymouth Live that uh, that he was uh, told on the Monday and the players weren't in, so and then he he wanted to see them on a Tuesday and the gaffer said they said no, we're going to be looking at you know pointing your successor, so we don't want you around. <laughs> so he wasn't able to say goodbye to the the. The players or even the fans for that matter so uh, he explained himself very well in the Plymouth Live interview so yeah uh, that, which is about time really because uh, the, it's a shame that there would be any bad feeling about uh, Schumacher since he's done so well certainly in the, the last 12 months that we've been watching since he's been in charge it's been an absolute ride for, for Plymouth with the you know winning the first division and then go you know go to Wembley and all that okay we didn't win at Wembley but it was still good you know the, the Chelsea game and all that it was just superb so it just just couldn't be any better so uh yeah thank you uh Stephen Schumacher for that thoroughly enjoyed this year um I just hope that they they appoint somebody that's equally as aggressive as he is in terms of the play and uh, you know he's a mild mannered chap but uh, in terms of the the actual style of football it was it was a joy to joy to watch it uh for, for the most part at Plymouth Argyle I think they've they've been you know fantastic really have so what we don't need is somebody coming in who's just going to tread water and, <laughs> and spoil the spoil the whole thing you know we end up going backwards rather than you know progressing forwards in in the manner which we have been doing so fingers crossed they appoint the right guy we shall see i don't think they're going to do it till the new year anyway but uh yeah they need to get that one right uh if we're going to continue on in 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 the manner with which we uh are accustomed so anyway, uh, I'll we'll check in with you at uh, at half time and let you know what score is and how we're getting on and stuff. So I'll see you then. Cheers! Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in a bit. So it's just been a long delay there. Two Birmingham City players going for the same ball, hitting each other there in the head. Uh, but uh, finally now they've got it sorted. One of them has been stretched off and subs come on. So the, the game's finally underway again. So fingers crossed, our goal will get back in. Penalty, but uh, apparently it's offside, so there you go, they got away with that. It should have been a Plymouth penalty. Well, Burnham City just scored. Uh, they're going giving the Plymouth Argyle fans at the Devonport end a bit of stick here. It's not good, it's not good sporting shit. Um, I actually believe it was offside before he got that far anyway, but uh, yeah, they don't deserve it. There we go. Let's go for Birmingham, number 28. See, it almost feels like any time that can go up, it's going to go in the net. It just, it's, it's 
This is a horrible, horrible, scrappy game with very few chances of going to go. They, they look a bit lost. over the bar. Okay, so that's half time. It's Birmingham City 2, Plymouth Argyle 1. Uh, it's a proper horrible, horrible game. Uh, put my teeth in. Proper horrible game. Uh, Birmingham City seem to want to make it that way. It's just come scruffy. Uh, yeah, not really anything going on. Uh, Plymouth Argyle, I've got to be honest, it looked lost. Um, they, they just, they're like a Ship without a rudder, and, and they pretty much are. I know because shoe has gone, whatever. But they just seem to be reft of ideas. They, they're passing it along the back and not really going anywhere, not really progressing anything. So it's very annoying. Um, and we went uh, 2 0 down. I thought that's it, they're going to capitulate, collapse. It's, this could be big numbers for Birmingham City because it, it's just sort of that annoying kind of a game, you know. Somehow there was a little mistake at the back and, uh, and uh, Argyle got in and scored the goal so and uh, they picked it up from there so the latter half of the uh, or the very end of the second half it was actually pretty good for Plymouth Argyle they, they could have gone on and got, got another one really uh, close calls there but uh, yeah I'm a bit worried about the, uh, the, the second in command there the, uh, he, he looks like he could be a granddad you know what I mean he doesn't, he doesn't fill me with confidence or whatever. I think the team really need inspiration, really need to, you know, get them rolled and get them going uh, in the second half. But uh, I don't know if he's the man to do, but we will see. Um, but fingers crossed, we're only one goal behind now. You never know. I really hope that they will come back in the second half and, and put it to Birmingham City because they're such an annoying team. Really, really an annoying Um but there you go. I mean, when they scored their first goal, they went up to the Devonport end and, you know, was rubbing it in all the fans. You don't need that. I mean, you've scored the goal. Go away. You know, don't need to be winding everybody up about it. So, yeah, I, teams like that, in my opinion, don't deserve to win. But we'll see if the football gods are, are up there looking down. There's only one fair winner here, and that should be Plymouth Argyle. We'll see. Fingers crossed. I'll see you at the end. All right. Bye. Well, the rest was set up, sent off one of the Birmingham City players, straight red card, two point challenge, feet in the air, uh, serious foul play, I'm guessing so, yeah, Birmingham City down to 10 men, we'll see how we get on now, that might help us a lot, we'll see. Ten men, Birmingham City have just gone off on a break and scored another one. That's 3-1 to Birmingham City. Can you believe it? I didn't see that coming at all, but there you go. Let's go for Birmingham, number seven, Jenny Oh, 
Let's hope we can back the next one and make it a win for all of Now it's ended 3-3. I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, so it's ended 3-all. Um, that game had a bit of everything. It was really naff to start with, I've got to be honest. Our goal in particular looked like they'd lost their way. They didn't really, you know, there was a lot of passion around at the back and sideways and not really going anywhere. Um, and then Burnham scored and, and then scored again. And it really sort of, after 2-0, they finally, you know, after they had a little bit of a break and a lucky sort of, uh, uh, deflection in, in, in the area they won the ball back and they stuck it in the net in, and so made it 2-1 and that seemed to kick them off and uh, it, then it was a, it's a strange game it's, it got quite exciting after that I think uh, you know they, they came out in the second half it was, it was a lot better I think Bowen City got a man sent off and we thought here we go Plymouth are going to go for it so uh, uh, and they did, they, they, they had all the pressure and kept going and kept going, but not really enough attacks on goal, but all of the ball. And then uh, all of a sudden, as typical with these kind of things, Birmingham City with their 10 men, they get a lucky break, go up the other end and bag it, so it becomes 3-1, and I, I'm thinking at 3-1, we're done for now, that that's it, it's gonna, that, you know, the game's over. But somehow we managed to get our way, find our way back into it, got to 3-2, and then right at the death there, kind of 3-0. And I'm thinking, Christ, we could actually go and win this. So, uh, but uh, it wasn't to be. Uh, I don't think we, although we, we had a lot of the ball, we didn't have enough of the attacks. But altogether, all things considered, without without the, the not having Shuey, I'm not I'm not convinced with the guy that's in charge at the minute. I was watching him, and he's, nah, I'm not convinced at all. The sooner they get somebody that knows what they're doing in the bear. Um, because they, they just lost, as I say. But uh, yeah, once uh, yeah, it got to the end. It was an exciting game. I've got to say, quite enjoyed it. So uh, if you've liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe. My name's Alan Kelly, and you've been watching the Home Park View. Okay, I'll see you at uh, the next home game. Cheers. Bye.